So we'll start with those who have changed the most. If you have someone that you're... As we approached the 30-year reunion in 2003, we saw the last year that the Warren campus would remain pretty much the same as it was left in 1973. We found out what our teachers were up to, and the career choices our class inspired some of those teachers to make. Prophet lives in Sacramento, has a business there. An organist. She is with the monk. Um, she's got her hair all shaved up. Dharma is her name now. Then we got a sneak peek into how the future was mapped out for Warren High School. So, what's new? What's not? What's moved? As for what's moved, let's go to the satellite. An expansion of the baseball facility moved Justice Stadium from here to here. What was known as Senior Circle was starting a renovation around 2007, the estimated year this photo was taken. The tennis courts, which were here, have been moved over here in order to make room for a modern office building, a park, and additional parking. The old office building is now classrooms and no longer visible from the street because of the new science and technology building. For residents across the street, their view changed from this to this. From the outside, the original buildings still look as they always have, with the exception of air conditioning and upgraded steel doors. There are subtle changes, such as the quad area lost its Coke machine and gained an outdoor barbecue. Then it went from this to something a little more fun. The weight room disappeared and eventually found a home near the bear at Justice Stadium. Senior Circle has been renovated and now available for use by all students. The bear, who was seen caged here in 2003, was moved away from his original home to his new home behind the gym. The view from the pool went from this to the view of a small part of the new Justice Stadium complex. Justice Stadium, which looked like this, now looks like this, at its new location behind the gym. The cafeteria looked like this, and now looks like this, complete with some exterior improvements. Thanks to an aggressive modernization program, the campus has been remodeled and slightly rearranged with a feel of a state university or high-end tech school. With great attention to science and technology, it is no wonder that Warren is now one of 218 California distinguished schools in not just one, but a variety of different areas. On the state list of distinguished schools, Warren stands alone with an asterisk next to its name, making it the number one most distinguished high school in the state for career technical education. Warren was also singled out for programs in physical activity and art. This literally puts Warren in a class by itself. There are many cutting-edge programs at Warren. One example is Mr. Archuleta's wood shop, where machines that shaped wood with the aid of humans have now been replaced with Mr. Kleiss's machines that shape various materials with the precision aid of a computer. When we attended, we learned how to make furniture and sound systems. As good as that was, now a student can learn how to build a complete house to put the furniture and sound system in. Plumbing, electrical, structural, horticulture, it's all here. Mr. Griswold's metal shop, which was the 21st century weight room, became Mr. Lundsberg's high-end film and video production facility. How high-end? This Panavision camera should be a clue. Nobody actually owns Panavision cameras. They are either rented at a very high cost or, only by special privilege, they are possessed by George Lucas, a high-end film school in the Midwest, and Warren High School. In the science area, 
a student can now learn about laser technology, aviation, robotics, and so much more. While you can take pride in the Warren you graduated from, you can also take pride in what Warren has become.